Oklahoma Q&A. My name is Haley Graves, and today I have with me Pastor Kelly McCoy. He is the college and young adult pastor here at Rocky Peak. Kelly, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. There is a spiritual realm that sometimes we're aware of, sometimes we're not aware of, and it's not just Christians who are aware of it. You can look at, you know, all the things in the media uh, that talk about certain things. So yeah. what, like, what is the battle that's going on for each and every person's immortal soul. Yeah, so what makes us human is not our physical body, right? So even um, without our physical body, we are always deliberating about the eternal world because we were meant to live forever. Mm. And of, essentially, we still will, according to you know the Bible, that we will live forever. You know, where we end up living forever is really our choice that we get to make here on earth. <clears throat> and so what we need to understand is that we are spiritual beings, mm -hmm. that we're not just physical and emotional beings. We are spiritual beings. And in this world, we are, you know, the best way I like to, <laughs> to, to describe it is that we're spirits wrapped in flesh, right? You're mm -hmm. just, you know, you, ha you have a spirit and soul and your body is a bag for your, <laughs> your body is the house, okay? <laughs> your body is, is a bag. house. Your body is a house for your spirit and soul. <laughs> um, it's the spirit that animates the body. That's what we need to know, right? So what do you call, um, basically, the spirit animates the body until you die and the spirit goes somewhere, right? So bodies that remain animated without a spirit, what do we call those? Zombies. Zombies. So that's where we, we get this, um, you know, idea of, of what a body would be without a spirit. Is mm. like we come up with all this folk, folklore stories of these bodies moving without a spirit that, like, what would they do? Oh, fine, they would just eat brains. <laughs> like, but the reality is, is that God made us, zombies don't exist, by the way, just, just you can, you can rest that night. I was really worried. Z zombies do not exist. <laughs> you know why? Because the spirit leaves the body eventually. Uh, and, and that's also in the Bible is that, is that if you're absent from the body, you're present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. And so the deepest part of who you are is not your hair. It's not your eyes. It's not your personality. It's not what you do and what, not what you don't do. It's your spirit that God put in you. Mm -hmm. That's the deepest part of who you are. That's Haley. And that's every human being. And, um, and the spiritual battle that's around us like, is literally a dimension that we cannot perceive with our physical eyes. Mm. And, and even my understanding is limited, other than the fact the Bible talks about it. Right, which is, I think, why it's so hard for, for even Christians to, to, to grasp and even accept of, like, what? There's something yeah. happening? So where, like, where do we get that belief that there is yeah. a, phys, a, a spiritual battle happening that we may or may not see? Right. So first it comes with us believing in God being spirit. So like, oh, well, if God exists, like, that's a spiritual being that exists that we can't perceive with our physical eyes. And secondly, there's a Bible verse that I would like to point out that talks about this mm -hmm. spiritual uh, realm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in Ephesians uh, 6, verse 12. It says, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against powers of this dark world, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. And so what that passage is essentially saying is that sometimes we experience tension in our relationships, but you don't realize that your battle is not against that other person necessarily. There are spiritual forces that are antagonizing you to fight against each other, mm -hmm. you know, to create disunity, right? So our battle is not against flesh and blood, it's actually against the spiritual things that are happening. That's why prayer Mm -hmm. is so, so important. And then the verses that continue talk about the spiritual armor that we must put on. Right. Because if we don't know we're in a spiritual battle, you know what happens if we don't know we're in a battle? You're losing. Coming up next week on Soma's Q&A. Bad news is, is that Jesus is the only way. The good news is Jesus is the only way. <laughs> if you don't want God now, you won't get God for eternity. God is not gonna force you to be in his everlasting eternal presence for eternity if you don't want it. The hellbound anthem is my will be done, not thy will be done.